of the stereotypes about Micronesian people? Yes. Yeah, there, there are definitely a lot of stereotypes. Can you describe them? Um, the stereotypes? I guess for uh, Micronesians, most people would think that they weren't um, highly educated, like they didn't come from a um, high-income background, and um, I guess they were more um, prone to bullying than other races. <laughs> but I, I, all believe, I believe that it's all because They kind of wear strange clothes. I don't know. The women seem to... They only seem to wear dresses, and they always look... I don't know, dirty, I guess is a good way of saying it. They just... They don't look very clean, their clothes. They're pretty ugly, too. And also, there's a lot of them. Like, a lot of them, I've noticed. Are you aware of any stereotypes about Micronesians? If so, can you describe some of them and respond to them? The stereotype, of course, of Micronesian or towards Micronesian is here in Hawaii because we're, we are the newest ethnic group um, of uh, <clears throat> uh, people coming into Hawaii. So some of the, the stereotype, of course, is that you're, you're uneducated, you know. The other stereotype, of course, you know, you hear all of the really racist uh, things. Uh, you know, I, I remember some people, you know, refer to the skirt as, you know, your curtain, why you wearing your curtain and stuff. But that is actually a very interesting one because the, the dress that they're referring to is a, is a common, you know, attire back home among women. And people here are used, so used to fashion that is highlighting. Uh, the body of women where that dress is supposed to actually protect uh, it does the opposite uh, and it it uh, it promotes respect uh, it enables women to to you know to be in public at the same time are you know they have a certain presence that is respectable and uh, respectable at the same time when I first moved here I wasn't aware of the stereotypes against my Phoenician, but I was made uh, clearly aware within a year of coming here. Oftentimes when I went to the parks, there was um, graffiti all over the stalls saying, go home Micronesians, and I was really shocked because I, was, I had no idea that um, Micronesians were thought of in this way. And a lot of times people would ask me where I'm from, and I would say I'm from Fuente, and they'd say, where is that? And I would just say, oh, I'm Micronesian, and they're like, oh, so you don't look like a Micronesian, as if that was some kind of compliment. Somebody told me about this racist joke that uh, somebody said on the radio. He said, "Like, what is it? This, what is the similarity between? What is the similarity between cockroaches and Micronesian? Uh, I don't know. What is it? Uh, they both make like crazy. That there is a lot of them in one place. Well, it's, again, you <clears throat> you have to put in perspective those kind of things. You know, Micronesians are very group oriented, very family oriented, and that kind of thing." comes across culturally, I mean, co comes across with them when they come here. And they tend to stick together in one place. Uh, they tend to help each other out. A lot of times Micronesians are seen as infesting parks here in Honolulu, but they don't realize it's kind of like a community cultural gathering because here in Hawaii they don't have yards, they don't have houses. So oftentimes they go to parks to gather to, actually they have church services sometimes, and they also have uh, fundraisers, and it's a time to meet and talk with your family and your friends. A lot of times I hear the stereotypes of Micronesians are that they are dirty, that they are uneducated, that they don't speak English well, that they are using the welfare and the health care system here in Hawaii, and that they are ugly, they are dirty, but a lot of times the background of on these preconceived stereotypes are not understood. Well, the media is one of those, you know, main purveyor of, you know, stereotypes.
if people don't question what the media, you know, portray, how the media portray a certain group of people, people tend to take that as a, you know, like the other joke that I said, it was put out over the radio, people don't, don't counter that. And, you know, just people just kind of thought, that, wow, that's good. Next thing you know, people talk, say it all the time. And it becomes, it takes on a certain reality on, you know, in a certain life of its own.